Hello YouTube, it's 919, October 19th, uh, 2019, no it's 2021, 2019 was actually a, as bad as the year seemed to me, in retrospect 2019 was pretty good, because 20, uh, 2020 sucked and 2021 is showing me that actually 2020 wasn't so bad. Um, yeah, so, oh, it's Tuesday night, uh, I wanted it to be Taco Tuesday, I mean, it's supposed to be Taco Tuesday, but it's not Taco Tuesday in my neighborhood if you don't have a car. Yep, went to the Del Taco, uh, again, went to the Del Taco, and it's not like I got there late at night or something, I got there about, I want to say about 7.30-ish. Um, certainly a time their lobby should be open and once again their, their lobby is closed now I, I will give them credit better than the last time at least they had the sign in the window that said uh, sorry for the you know lobby closed and it had current date it says sorry for the inconvenience um, but it's uh, you know that's a sorry not sorry they're not sorry for the inconvenience. If they were sorry for the inconvenience, they would have served me in the drive-through, through the window, you know. But they didn't. No, I uh, so I went. I went to the drive-through window, and I was just like, "Hey, if your lobby's closed, how am I? How do how do how do I uh, how do I order food since your lobby's closed?" And the uh, he's like, "You can't." I'm like, "Well, that's that's pretty jacked up." I said, "I'm hungry." So I've been a customer here for over a decade. You know, I'm just, I got money. I'm just trying to get me some tacos. Nope. Nope. He goes, uh, so you have to, you have to get a car. I said, well, you got a car I can use? I don't have, a, I don't have, a, I don't have a car right now. I wish, I wish I'd have recorded this. I really do. I, uh, now sometimes I wish I had, had like an old Google Glass. <laughs> It'd be the last, the world's last glass hole. <laughs> but yeah, I wish I had a Google Glass I could record some of these fucking bullshit encounters I have just trying to deal with fucking modern modern life without a car um anyway I, for a while there I just refused to get out of his drive-thru just refused to sat there for a while and then uh oh god I sat there for quite a while he's like well I can't said sure you can I can give you I can give you money I give you money you give me tacos why can't you because there's a sign right there how does that sign stop you from giving me tacos it's a rule break the rule like that fool ain't ever broke any rules I bet he broke at least five rules during the day in fact speaking of breaking rules I don't think he was wearing a mask and I'm pretty sure there's a mask a rule that all Del Taco employees are required to be wearing a mask. Pretty sure he was breaking that rule. He can break that rule. He can break the rule about not serving me. It's just for safety. It says safety. It says they don't hit you. So the car in the vehicle doesn't hit, hit you. I said, what's here to protect that car from me? I said, I could walk up and smash his window right now. So there's no safety. I said, I get really angry when I'm hungry. Should feed me some tacos for safety. Anyway, uh, eventually I, thought, I sat there for a while and, and I let the drive-through get pretty backed up. And I thought, you know, maybe, just maybe, a person, the next person in line, be willing to help a person out. And I explained to him what my plight was, and he's just like, "Well, I'm, I'm driving for Uber Eats and." And, and I felt bad for him. I'm like, my God, you know, because they're not paid by the hour. They're paid by the job. So I'm just like kind of stopping him from making his money. I felt kind of bad about that. And I'm like, well, how do I, you know, I'm just trying to deliver some of their food. I'm like, how do I get you to deliver me some food? He goes, I just get on the app. And all, the whole time I was on the phone with a friend. I'm going to see her right now. She's, she says she feed me. So at least I'm, 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 I'm going on quite a, Quite a journey to accomplish that, but at least somebody wants to feed me. So, 
Miss, miss, I don't cook, I don't clean, and I don't got no WAP either, ain't feeding me. So, um, yeah, so she, uh, I'm with her. She's like, don't, don't, you're gonna go to jail. I'm like, I don't give a fuck if I go to jail anymore. Shit, at least in jail, I don't have to worry about transportation. I don't worry, have, I don't worry, have, have to worry about getting fed. I don't, I don't, I'm not lonely because I'm surrounded by people. So I don't have to worry, stress about paying rent. Seriously, I'm I'm so so ready to go to jail right now. Um, yeah, I've been to prison. I've been in jail. Been to prison once. Been in jail more times than I can count. And and I, I, honest to God, I, on a scale of one to ten, being in jail is about a six. You know, it's not the best thing, but like on a scale of one to ten, my my present life, the way things have been going, it's generally hovering at about a three. So, yeah, jail's better. Jail, jail's definitely better. Um, anyway, God. So, let's get everything. Um, anyway, I let, I let him roll forward. And, and now, in hindsight, I'm thinking, I should have told him. I'm like, well, here's the deal. I said, I said, you can, I should have, I should have told him, you can, you can, I can give you a five dollar bill and you can order me you can order me six tacos and keep the change when you get to the window on top of your already existing order yeah or or, or i can just stand here and not let you see that that, that falls flat though because i could have gave him the five dollars and then i got out of my way and he could just rolled out take me for took me for the five dollars so yeah i just i just no bargaining position at all anyway i let him go i was thinking I was thinking about, uh, you know, maybe actually using Uber Eats to order tacos delivered to me at that Del Taco. I, and I thought about that, but I don't know. I was on my phone with, with my friend, on my other phone, my, well, I'm, 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 a, I'm a phone with my friend, and that's when she's like, well, come over, I'll feed you. So that's what I'm working on now. Um, although at, at the time, I, I was getting hunger pains because I hadn't, I haven't been eating really well since I lost my car you know there's, there's really not food at home and at some point i should vlog just so y'all can see just how god awful the uh woman keeps the kitchen so you can see what i'm dealing with you know and why I, i'm not comfortable you know why i can't really have food at home um i can't have food at home um so i mean generally the way i i always eat is i just eat while i'm out and ninety percent of the time, like I do that through a drive-through, and sometimes I go in. But I've noticed there's a real problem with going in these days. And fast food places are real short-handed, and it seems like their general solution is close the lobby. We're short-handed, so we close the lobby. And, and so anyway, later I went to, to Burger King, and they she did. And the manager fed me. Thank God. I, was, I just I just needed something to take the edge off because I, I was getting some hung, some pain. I have some issues with acid, acid reflux. If I don't if I don't eat enough, like I start to get legit like physical pain, physical physical pain in my in my gut. And she, uh, um, at least when I went to the window and I I told her it's just like, hey, the sign says the lobby's supposed to be. I got there to like right at eight o'clock. I said, the, the sign says the lobby is supposed to be open. Oh, and there were already people in there. Yeah, there were people in there ordering their food. So obviously, shit, just locked the door. I said, uh, I walked to the window, and I just basically stepped between the person that was there at the window. I, I got no issues at this point, stepping between a car and a drive through window. In fact, once upon a time, uh, I had a place that refused to... Uh, it's after my divorce. I went through some really tough times after my divorce, and I should vlog more about that. Because sometimes those stories, they come right to me, and other times I, I can't remember them. But I went through some crazy, crazy tough times after my divorce. Because uh, my uh, wife threw me out of my house. And make no mistake, that's, that's my house. I, I'm the one who paid the goddamn mortgage. My house. I mean, okay, we're married. Arizona law is both of our houses, but because the deed was 100% in her name due to the way we financed it, she had it all in her head that it was her house. Long story short, divorce judge found it was our house because 
hello, Arizona is a community property state. But anyway, back back to the back to the thing about uh, drive-through issues. So, um, and she made these false allegations against me. They got me arrested at my house. Actually, they didn't get me. I'm trying to think what. Just, it all comes back in bits and pieces. Like she made false allegations against me and took off. Oh, it's all so so fuzzy. Anyway, I remember getting arrested over whatever she some some lies or whatever she made to the you know it's fine she's in hell like she's paying the price for that now so it's that's there's that but at least by most readings of the bible and in most holy books i've read it, most holy books seem to indicate if you kill yourself you go to hell and she killed herself so i'm just gonna you know try to get a little comfort from hoping that that's where she's at and enjoying eternal torment for all the torment she gave me but Anyway, she, uh, yeah, so I got arrested in front of my house, even though I did nothing. And she, uh, um, in jail for quite a while, and I forget exactly how the hell I got out. Forget how the hell I got out of jail. So I was in jail for quite a while, and, and absolutely nobody would post my bond. And she went around, you know, telling people I had, I had tried to kill her, which is absolutely insane. And, um, anyway, she, uh, yeah, you're cool. Um, Yeah, she didn't, uh, I forget how the heck I got out of jail. All I know is when I got out of jail, like, I couldn't go home. Because she had, uh, while I was in jail, she had served me a, an order of protection. It basically said that I couldn't step foot in my own house. Um, which was, you know, I, I stopped paying the mortgage on it, which kind of put her in a in a world of hurt because <laughs> she didn't have no money to pay the mortgage that's my house that's paying the mortgage on it and, and have been for pretty much the entire the bulk of the bulk of our marriage uh, so anyway she uh oh god it's so hard to put all the pieces together i should write a book you know let's go back and edit stuff it, it comes out better but she uh state property no trespassing she cracks me up there's cars coming. I got to stop this time. So, um, lovely view. I-17 southbound. Yeah. So anyway, she, uh, I got, I I got out for a while. I was, I was straight up homeless and I had nothing. I said nothing. For a while, like I, I did. I don't know. Some, I don't know, some points I was broke. Some points I, I had money. Um, you know, I do remember at one point in time I was out, uh, way out in East Tucson. I forget, what I, I forget what I was doing out in East Tucson. I, I do know there was a point where I was, I have the walk here and these fuckers just ain't stopping. Um, I remember at one point I had the, I had a, um, I was staying with, a, with my old roommate from prior to my marriage, um, Todd. I've long since lost to touch with, unfortunately, but Todd. Yeah, this might even be when I was staying with Todd, and I think I just rolled out because I was hungry. But anyway, I went to a some kind of fast food place and just tried to, they, and again, it's like lobbies locked, nothing open but the drive-thru. I don't have a car because bitch stole my car. Yeah, I, I made all the payments on that car, but she took the car too, of course. So when you go through, guys, when you go through a divorce, bitch takes everything. Understand that. Just don't get married, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Because it will eventually go to hell and bitch will steal everything. That's how divorces work. And, and, and the laws and society is geared to pretty much enable them to do that. And then and, and if you're a dude, ain't, ain't nobody looking out for you. Ain't nobody there to help you. You're fucked. So, yeah, I got... All I wanted to do was just get some food. I have money. 
and they just absolutely refuse to, you know, same kind of bullshit I went tonight. Oh, I can't serve you in the drive through Yeah, you can. You can take my money and you can hand me the food right through the window. You can pretend I'm in a car. Pretend I'm in a car. Just just like just like in the emperor's new suit. Most of the most of the commoners pretended the emperor was the naked emperor was wearing a suit. You just pretend I'm driving a car. Use your imagination. Well you must have some imagination if you think working at this job's gonna get you ahead in life. Right? So anyway, I, I, I ended up just kinda in walking off of frustration and trying to trying to hatch myself a plan. How am I gonna get me some food? I'm hungry and everything's closed unless you have a car and I don't have a car. I have money. I'm not an unreasonable person. I'm not asking for a free free meal. I'm just asking to take my money and give me some food. Same thing you're doing with everybody else who has a car. I don't have the means to get a car. And, and I, I shouldn't I shouldn't have to carjack somebody just so I can go through a drive through and get some food. Just serve me some food. Anyway, what I ended up doing is just kind of waiting until I kind of got the rhythm of how they handed their orders out and, and just kind of hid in the shadows and at one point right when I knew he was going to do it and I kind of knew that he had a system where he would he would hand the bag and then when the person would grab the bag he'd hand him their drink and they'd reach for the drink so anyway I, I dove through smashed the drink so soda went on everybody in one quick move, snatched that bag of food, and off into the darkness. And I ate good that night. And, and I didn't want to have to steal anybody's food. I really didn't. But they didn't give me any other option. So that's what I had to do. And I'm, I'm real quickly realizing as things are getting more, more and more desperate for me that you just got to do what you got to do. So on that note, I'm on my way to go do what I got to do. And, uh, and uh, eat, eat my friend's lasagna. And I'm I'm planning on getting all up in that lasagna. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat that lasagna. Oh God, am I gonna eat that lasagna? And I'm um, I'm I'm after after just being denied bedroom fun for I don't know how long it's been. I am so ready to eat me some lasagna. <laughs>